In this video, we will continue to explore workflows. When working with workflows, you will often need to restrict certain transitions to be available to only authorized users. For example, what we have here is a very simple workflow that allows users to submit leave applications. As the user first create a leave application and then submit that to a manager for approval. Now once submitted, the manager can choose to either approve or reject the application. Now the obvious problem we can see here is the user can approve it himself. So what we want to do is to limit the approve and reject transitions to only managers. After all, we don't want people submitting applications and approve them themselves. So in order to implement this requirement, we need to use what is called a workflow condition. Workflow conditions act as criteria that must be met before Jira will allow a user to have access to a transition. So what we need to do now is to go to the workflows page and then edit the leave application workflow. Now once here, the first thing we need to do is to locate the approved transition and then select view conditions. Now this will show us all the conditions that are currently applied to the transition. And in this case, there isn't any. So what we can do here is to click on add and select one of the conditions. Now Jira comes bundled with several conditions and you can expand on this list with third party add-ons. Now since we want to restrict the transition to only managers, we can select the user is in group condition and then select the managers group. So now we have just added the condition to restrict the transition to only to users in the managers group. Here we can also go one step further and say that the manager might also need to be the currently assigned manager in order for him or her to approve the application. And we can do this by adding a new only assignee condition. Now once we have added more than one condition, a condition group is created. With a condition group, we can choose if that all conditions within the group must pass in order for the group to pass with the end operator. Or only one of the condition needs to pass in order for the entire group to pass with the all operator. Now since we need both to pass, we will be using the end operator. So now we have applied two conditions to the approved transition. We need to do the same to the reject transition as well. So now we have applied conditions to both the approve and reject transition. We can go ahead and publish our draft. So once the draft is published, we can go back to the issue, refresh, and we can see both the approve and reject transitions are no longer available to me as a normal user. But now if I log out and log back in as a manager, select the application, and we can see both the approve and reject transitions are once again available to me.